Hello, 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 it's your boy Mog. We're back with another episode of Golf Story. How's everybody doing today? I hope you all find any well. Last episode, we were... Let's see, we had a couple matches. We actually beat Max Yards in a match and took his caddy, who turned out to be our old, uh, old mate Teddy, the red-haired preppy boy, and then Max Yards is, uh, business rep, Lorraine, asked us to, uh, get our contract back from Lucky so we could get into a business deal with her. We beat Lucky in a very, uh, tight match, and, um, yeah. Now we're back here. Let's speak to her about, I guess, the contract and the video. Uh, the video that we did of the match between me and Max Yards. I heard the video came together nicely. We may just have something with you. We want you to carry this. Pro Woods. Ooh. Wow. Be sure to sing its praises frequently. Well, thank you. How are you at tennis? Uh, tennis, what? Let's see, we're still looking for the old club. Need etiquette lessons. Turn to the clubhouse when you're a gentleman. We got our caddy, we need two more old clubs. And etiquette lessons. And we still got that key to Oak Manor. Uh, which, I don't know if that's a side quest or what, we'll deal with it. Let's see what Lucky's reaction to losing the contract is, because he didn't really say anything when he when we beat him. He just kind of left. He's probably going to be mad. He's like, how, how could you betray me? <laughs> he's going to say that, but like, he, he's stealing all my money. So let's see. So you don't work for me anymore. I'm not mad. Next year's World well Worn Grove Open will pull in enough money without you. Oh, okay. I don't know, I kind of feel like I... kind of feel that it was kind of like a dick move for me to do that. But, I don't exactly have control over where the story's going, so... I mean, Lucky obviously wasn't looking out for my best interests either. But this new lady, I doubt she is. I, I doubt she's looking out for anybody's best interests but her own. Oh yeah, we were talking about the Scott Pilgrim game last episode. I, I just bought it. It just came out today. Today's the 15th. I've been looking forward to getting that back forever now. I was going to buy the PC version, but it's only on Uplay, not Steam. So it's like, eh. I'll just get it on Switch instead. I wanted to get... I, I heard they're doing limited run uh, games edition. And that that's actually a game that, I, that would be nice to have in a physical edition. But I did a little bit of research. And, uh... Turns out... Oh, here we go. Turns out even after you buy the game, it takes like three to five months for them to get it to you. And it's like, well, that's nice and all, but I want to, I want the game now. If I, if I need to buy a copy for collection purposes later, there's always eBay. Puddle Wedge. Hey, that must be the old club that they was talking about. And this is good for a side quest too. Hold the phone. Yeah, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. That game is so, like... For a licensed game, it, like, blows a lot of other licensed game out of the water. Blows a lot of other games... Blows a lot of games out of the water. It's, like, one of the be better beat-em-ups in modern times. I see you have a running iron. That must mean you're ready to take the water on. Yes, I am. The Reading Iron can be a scoring club if used correctly. I want you to gain some versatility with it. Let's see what kind of coverage you can get out of the water. Okay. Wow. Uh. Shit, that actually wasn't supposed to go that high, but fuck. <laughs> okay. We'll just kind of take it as it comes, right? Five or seven. And... 
Oh, cool. Cool. Again with the bagpipe music, though. Okay. Whatever, I'm not even mad. I won. I won, bitch. Not many people could be effective with that club. Well done. Thank you. Oddly posed, man. Alright, let's go and, uh... Let's learn etiquette. Laura needs an etiquette lesson. A little cutie. Are you ready to learn some golf etiquette? I like to think I'm a nice enough person. I probably just need a couple of tips. I need to make you understand. Having started at Well-Worn Grove, your idea of golf etiquette will be warped. For example, did you know it's considered impolite to hit balls at people and property? In fact, on many courses, it's even considered an offense. Are you sure? <laughs> that sounds like an odd rule to me. But I was warned that golf had many strange rules. Yes, this may take a while. <laughs> <laughs> but like everything else in golf, it's something a few drills can't fix. Let me know when you're ready to start. Let's get it on! Ready to learn some etiquette? Yes, let's do it. Looks like the group in front has stopped for a rest. What will you do what will you do in this situation? Hit over the top of them. On this course, rest breaks occur often, and there are no time limits. If you can't wait, it is customary to play around the group ahead. This means using the neighboring fairway. I see. Let's see if we can still reach the green in two while playing around. Okay. So I should just hit my balls towards Lana is what you're saying to me. Lara. Keep wanting to call her Lana. Oh shit, she gonna, she's fisting. This is your idea of etiquette? Yeah, I know, right? Like, we're, we're... I'm sorry, she marked it out for me. Don't hit the goop in the course. But hitting Lana is, Lara is apparently fine. Oh, what the fuck was that? It's true that practicing good etiquette can make for a more difficult round. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Makes other players' lives easier? Fuck it. I don't care. Okay. Yup, oh, yup, oh, yup. Oh. We don't need this. We don't need this. We already read it. Okay. Do do do. Do do. <laughs> okay. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Hooray! We... We were cur courteous. You showed great restraint. You're ready for my next lesson. Yay. Ready for your next lesson? Yes, I am. Okay, can you see this? See what? Who said that? <laughs> Behind you. Oh, there you are. It is considered poor taste to go for the green when you're in the trees. The best thing to do is to hit your ball back onto the closest fairway. Even if you have a good shot at the flag. Let's see how you go. That's dumb. That is so dumb. Stupid rules. Stupid etiquette. I'm here to win, not to be a pansy. Ugh. I don't want to learn etiquette. I just want to do... I just want to be me, you know? I'm just trying to find myself. That's all I'm trying to do. Stop. Okay, good. Uh, stupid rules. Stupid other people. Okay. Final hit. Let's go. I already won, so I'm just half-assing it. 
All right, I'm learning etiquette. Will this actually be useful or what? Practicing good etiquette won't get you low scores, that's for sure. Why do you think the tour pros are so rude? Because they're assholes? Ready for your next lesson? Yes. Let's get this stupid shit over with. Final thing I'll teach you is the caddy rule. It's considered polite to take your caddy's advice, no matter what it is. Knowing this, you'll need to practice this shot with different types of clubs. You don't want to be thrown off by your caddy at the last moment. Oh, what? Well, what advice... What advice are you talking about? Okay, so basically use... Use this club? Is that, is that the advice you're giving me? Okay. Why am I listening to my caddy again? Your caddy will have a difficult time tripping you up. That should be enough etiquette to see you through your time here. There's a lot of rules, and frankly, nobody knows all of them. Alright, good. Okay, uh, what's next? Turn to the clubhouse when you're a gentleman. Missing one club. Take that oak mana key as far away from me as you can. The only other lead we have for that is... The only other lead we have is... For the for that uh Oak Manor key, so let's let's go to Oak Manor. Let's see what what's happening. Or maybe I have to go back to the archaeologist too. Shit, yeah, who's who's what's in here? What the hell is this? Hi. You look like a Galfer. Are you a Galfer? Uh. Beg your pardon? You're a golfer, aren't you? You mean golfer. I'm not so bad. I know what golf is. I'm talking about golf. Uh, what? I've never heard of it. You mean you've never played golf before? Boy, you went for a shock. Go ahead and switch on the console. Oh, and here's the manual. Golf manual? Okay. Toggle stretch. Read manual. The year is 19XX. The world suffers from a perpetual state of boredom. Collective depression washes over society as their search for enlightenment yields few results. However, in the Far East, news of the long dormant sport of the old ones begins to resurface. They speak of a beautiful game that provides not just excitement but nobility to those who participate in it. Armed with naught but a hastily forged set of ball bashers, uh, phrasing, the new generation looks to the past for an answer to a single burning question. What's to do? Features of Galf. Eight holes. Let's see. Oh, all right, let's get, let's get through this. Rapid advances in computer technology have allowed for advanced simulations such as this to be made possible. In order to fully enjoy your simulation experience, please take note of the following technology employed in the simulation. High definition audio <laughs> engine. High definition audio drivers mean voice can be transmitted through circuits and with stunning clarity. Unfortunately, the actor was unable to make it to the studio and had to shout his lines across the street, causing a slight d dip in clarity. He was also underwater. Eight high octane holes, memory limits, and an annoying bug mean that Galf ends after only eight holes. However, this has been marketed as a design choice and should be regarded as such. Let's adhere to traditions. The game of Galf is almost as old as time itself and is rumored by some to be the first sport. Galf traditions were defined years ago and are followed to this very day. Let us not question the traditions, but merely follow them. The, art, the actual art in the old manuals was better than this. Let's see, club up, never down. Taking additional club is the best way to impress your friends. A 50% shot with a lower lofted club will always produce better results than a full strike with something shorter. 
Think your way around the course. Playing straight for the flag is a fool's errand that will almost always end in disaster. Consider other options, like purposely hitting bunkers, using them as a safety net. You will net safe pars and bogeys with no unnecessary, unnecessary excitement. Beware the strange degenerates. Disingenuous savages make their way onto the golf course from time to time. Pay them no mind, such as nudist crab, lazy crocodile, and flightless bird. Oh, okay. Oh, shit, I actually might need to pay attention there. Okay, you start around a golf. Now look at the screen on the left to get your bearings. Use interface to hold you on. Double your shots. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. After setting the interface, it's time to take your swing. First, look to the text on the side of the swing bar to see which club you have equipped. Press up and down to select different clubs. Taking a swing. Press the swing button once to start, then press it at the end, then back at the start again, and it will do a swing. Off center shots will cause the ball to veer off to the left and to the right. Oh my god, that's a lot of these. Let's see. In the game of Gal for slice and not death sentence. Huh, okay. Uh, huh. Okay. As much as I want to sit in and read the manual, it's probably a bad idea. Let's do this. What? <laughs> he may actually be underwater. How about a game of golf? Okay. Oh shit, it actually is. That I got a bird? Is that a good, good thing? Okay. Uh, what's the par for? Bogey? Oh, fuck. Okay. This is so ghetto. Okay. Fuck. Uh, use this thing? Fuck. How are you supposed to do this shit? Plus two? What? Fuck. Do I get anything for this? Because this is absolutely terrible. Yeah, this this is this is I don't know what this is. Par. Okay. I'm bored with this already. Yeah. I'm not interested. You're welcome to play golf anytime you like. No. Unless it's a side quest for it, I'm not interested. That, that is some boring ass shit. That's more boring than regular golf. Okay. Here we go. Suppose I'll use the key. Well, I'm inside now. Can't do anything about it. 
My key doesn't work on this one. Ah, oh, hell. Well, I think... Yeah, that's not about right. Just fucking hit it in. Okay. Well, maybe do this. There we go. Fifteen dollars. And open. And there's a ghost crying tears of blood over here. I don't know why I'm still heading this way. No, you can't have your ball back. I'm sorry, I thought that green was part of the course. An open grave? That would be a bit morbid, wouldn't it? Uh, I suppose it would be. No, I'm kidding. It is part of the course. But nobody ever plays here. Perhaps they're, they're afraid of ghosts? I sure hope not. I spent weeks building this place. Then I died. Uh, sorry to hear that. I never got to play the course. Perhaps you could. No. You didn't hear me out. Play the co- No, no, that's weird. Please, I just wanna... Feel like I'm playing it. If you do it, I can reward you with a great prize. But... You're a ghost. You can't... Use stuff. I have my ways. And if you don't do it, I may haunt you. Ah, fine, I'll do it. You're twisting my arm here. Yay! I'm lucky it's not like possessing me and making me die and shit. Welcome to Oak Manor Jr. I'm very lucky. I mean, it's cr it's crying tears of blood. Hey, it's the vampire people from earlier. Wow, there's a lot of chicken drum chicken drumsticks everywhere. I like the flag too. Nice little rose there. Look at that. That's kind of cool. All of the holes are par one. You can complete them all at your leisure. You just have to make par on each hole. Par one. Okay. I don't like the sound of par one. But, uh, what, what can you do? Fucking ass cookies. We can do this. We are not beholden. We can't do this. What the fuck? Okay, let me see here. Yeah, give me that. Yeah. That stupid old people putting club. There we go. That's what I'm used to. Ooh, level up! Hooray! Yeah! There we go. I gotta see if I can finally do the pro T on that one course. Psst. 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 Mortal stranger, from this moment and beyond you shall obey. Yes, master. What will you have me do? Evildoers encroach upon my manor. What good is a single minion? <laughs> As we speak, they are raising an army of minions. Do you have any minions? At the time, I have only one. But you seem an obedient one thus far. I live only to serve you. Jesus Christ, dude. Infiltrate their ranks. Destroy them from within. Okay, I will do- In addition, my consciousness cannot be contained within a single stone. Seek out my other vessels and obey them as you would me. I don't know what it is about- what it is about that stone. But I really feel compelled to do what it wants. That's because you're an empty vessel yourself and you have no fucking agency. <laughs> like, the most agency you sowed when you sowed- it was when you left home to become a fucking golfer. Ever since then, you've been letting other people make your own, make decisions for you. 
No backbone. No backbone at all. How the fuck did that happen? Do, 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 boom, ba do. Oh, come on. Aqua Golf was much easier than this. You know what I kind of miss? The fucking Ninja Turtles game from the Sega Genesis. The the one that was like the arcade game, like the Turtles in Time and shit, but not as cool, not as good, but still pretty good. The Hyperstone Heist, I think it was called. I don't want to play that. Maybe one day. All right. Uh, I fucked up. It's alright. It is not okay. Fuck. No. There we go. Ah, uh, hell. Hey, there we go. We're playing this course. But you know what? It is bothering me. So it's it's bothering me. I have to run off and do that real quick. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I've got so many power level ups that like I'm thinking about it. I'm like I can totally do that now. Y'all remember what I'm talking about, right? This overarching quest line that we've been waiting on. <laughs> That we haven't been able to do because we haven't had a big enough swing, but now we do. Our dick is big. And we are ready, I think. For this. Pretty sure we are, right? You're pretty good. Want to try the pros, T? You need a pretty big swing on you to make that shot, I reckon. I think we can now, actually. Boom. Holy shit. Oh, uh, we were so close, too. Wait, that still counted. How? You a pro or something, mate? Wait, that was only $5.50? You're a legend. That was... Huh. That, was, that wasn't very climactic. That was anticlimactic, I would say. I would so f go so far as to say it was disappointing. Let's see if the archaeologist has something to say about the old clubs we dug up. Yep, I was a cashier this whole time. Oh. Okay. So apparently they don't care that I uncovered the legendary fucking club that they were talking about. Okay. No matter. Back to... Back to investigating Oak Manor. Or at least, that's what I would say if we were going to do it. We're actually going to cut off. Because we we're actually pretty close to the episode end time. So, we're going to get right back into it next episode with some Oak Manor. Of course, thank you all for watching. Y'all have a good day, and we'll see what happens next time on The Mock Show. Peace out, babies!